we're going to be looking at angles of elevation and angles of depression. So elevation is looking up, depression is looking down. So let's take a look at angles of elevation. So if we're down on the level and we look out from C to A, the angle of theta is the angle of elevation. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at the angles of depression. Angle of depression is from the horizontal looking down from A towards C. Here it is. One of the biggest problems we find with students is they will frequently put it between the line from A looking down towards C and the line AB. To complete the triangle that we're looking for to be able to use right angle trigonometry, when we're looking at using angle of depression, imagine a line drawn at perpendicular to the horizontal down and meeting it. So let's take a look at how it works. Here's our angle of elevation. Here's our angle of depression. These are the two triangles that we use to work out the solution to whatever problem it is we've been given. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. So here we have an angle of elevation. Um, Typically, you might have, for this one, we know the distance from A to C. So you might have something like a kite on a string. And the angle of elevation of the kite is 57 degrees. And we want to find out how far above the ground it is. So here's our right angle triangle. And we use this to work out our solution. So let's work at, get an area to work in. First off, the X is the opposite for the 57 and the 125 is the hypotenuse, so sine 57 degrees is x over 125. Because we're dividing by 125, we multiply both sides by 125, and we get ourselves x is equal to 125 sine 57 degrees. Put in the calculator, there we are. So that kite would be 104.8 metres above the ground. Let's now look at one where we're looking at the angle of depression. Here's our diagram. This one might be something like um, your up a forestry tower looking out for bushfires. You spot some smoke, 3 degrees, 16 minutes as the angle of depression, and you want to find out how far away the fire is. So this is our right angle triangle we work with. We put our distances on them. So put the X and the 143, transfer them across. Let's take a look at our working. Now, for the angle we're looking at, the 143 is the opposite. The X is the adjacent, so we're going to use tan. So tan of 3 degrees 6 minutes is 143 over X. Using our right angle trigonometry, basically we swap over the X and the tan 3 degrees 16 minutes. So we get x is 143 divided by tan 3 degrees 16 minutes. So we find that x is 2,505 metres away. In other words, about 2.5 k's away. So let's you have a go. Here we have a problem. Now, I've drawn the diagram for you. Quite often, these sorts of problems will be worded. So the wording that might go with something like this, you're in a boat out at sea. Um, you don't know how far you are from shore. You know there's a 98 metre cliff and your angle of elevation to the top of that cliff is 17 degrees 39 minutes. You want to know how far you are away from the base of the cliff. Here we have an alternate one. This is our angle of depression question. So in other words, you're looking down from A to C. So typical worded question to go with this is there's a bird sitting at the top of a 20 metre flagpole. He's looking down to a worm that's on the, the garden at point C. The angle of depression is 41 degrees. What's the shortest distance he has to fly to be able to get his worm? And there's your problem. 
So now what I'd like you to do, pause this video, copy and label the diagrams and have a go. When you've finished, restart the video and check your answers. Your turn. Welcome back. So here's our first diagram. We're looking for the working with the angle of elevation. So here's our right angle triangle. When we're looking at our right angle triangle, we've got an opposite and adjacent, so we use tan. So tan of the angle is 98 over y. It's always easiest to start by with your definition of your trigonometric ratio and then manipulate it depending on where the unknown is. So our next step on this one is we swap over the y and the tan 17 degrees 39 minutes. We use our calculator and we find out that the boat you're in or whatever is 308 metres from the base of the cliff. Let's take a look at our angle of depression. Here's the right angle triangle that we have to work with. We'll notice the 20 is the opposite, the D is the hypotenuse, so opposite and hypotenuse is working with sine. So sine of 41 degrees is 20 over D. Swapping the D and the sine, D is going to be 20 over sine 41. Use the calculator and you find that it's 30.49 metres to the nearest centimetre. So in other words, the bird's going to have to fly basically 30.5 metres. That's it. Follow the procedure, you won't get it wrong. So that's angles of elevation and depression. Done.